Hey guys, it's been a long time since I've posted a video. I've been super, super busy uh, with life. And um, so things are kind of slowing down a little bit, not so much. But um, I'd like to start some YouTube videos for you guys on just some tips on, you know, how to paint certain things or make certain things. And so one of the questions I always get is, um, how do I paint my eyes? And I never draw anything out when I'm painting anything from like my Vivian Red series, which is my figurative or the portrait faces. I kind of just go with it. But there's a little secret to the eyes. So I'll kind of show you this picture here. So this is one of my Vivians. Um, and you can see that if you look at the eyes, they're not completely perfect and defined. And they're not, um, they don't have a lot of bold or strict lines um, or blunt lines. So how I approach it is kind of like how I approach all the rest of my painting. So first thing is I always use a big brush. Now I just have this like small little poster board right here. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just paint uh, one eye to kind of show you how I, how I, you know, apply it on my canvas. So what you can do is practice on the poster board just like I'm doing. Let me get a towel. Hang on one sec. All right, so we're gonna try, we're gonna go with black first so you can really see how I do it. So the first thing, now I'm gonna be painting this sideways, so I can't guarantee that it's gonna really be proportioned, but I'm gonna start off with just one eye. So this would be, um, if you're looking at the painting, it's gonna be this eye here. So let's say the nose is right here in this area, okay? There's the eyebrow. So how I paint the eye is, I do a nice little dip just like that, okay? So let's just say this is the eyebrow. Then what I do is I just kind of come in, fill that in a little, and I do a half circle. Now with that half circle, that means I'll be coming in periodically, filling it in with white and color, but this just gives me the beginning stages of my eye. So then what I do is I kind of just fill it in, not all the way. It's nice to leave the eye, you know, if you look closely, my eyes, your eyes, look in the mirror, our eyes aren't perfect. Um, we have lots of light hitting them and glares. So that's a way to kind of look at your painting too. It should not be, and I'll show you what you don't want and what you do want. So you're going to take this, you're going to kind of just get your line going, and then you're going to come in through here. Now, let's imagine this is the eyebrow here. That eyebrow is going to come down like this. So this would be the nose, and then the other eye was going to come off on this side here. So you notice. I don't fill in the bottom of the eye. I always leave that kind of out until I start getting into the, the next uh, layers of my paint. So let's pretend that this dried. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take white. Now, of course, if you add a white paint on, black, on a wet black paint, you're going to get all this mixture of gray. So I want you to realize that you have the option to let it completely dry before you go ahead and put another color on. Um, in this case, I'm an impatient person, and I'm not going to wait. Now, um, just so you know, uh, I apply this technique to any of the facial, uh, any piece that I have that has eyes or a face. Same with my owls and my birds. Um, I do the same thing. So here is the white. So I'm coming in with the white here. And the cool thing about poster board is it dries fast, so I don't have to be too concerned. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is come in with some color. Um, let's say we want to make her have green eyes. It's just like one of my favorite colors to do for eyes lately. So I'm going to just add some green. Okay. And all I'm doing is giving it some color. You can even rinse your brush, get it wet, and then just kind of smear it in there a little bit more. And notice that I'm not making all my lines real stiff and, and straight. Okay. Now, I'm going to come back in with my black, and all I'm going to do is you know, just kind of highlight the area I did, maybe come back in and define this pupil a little bit more, or this iris, I guess. Okay, now, what I can do now from this point is I can add... A bottom if I want. 
maybe she's got some eyelashes coming out here. And I can bring my eyebrow down and I can kind of shade in through here. It's kind of hard to smear on poster board because it dries so quickly. Okay. And if you want to go ahead and add the bottom, you can do that. And it's just light strokes. About to knock over my whole entire easel. And that's it. I know it seems like I make it really easy, but if you practice and you approach it with just um, a loose um, attitude towards it, it's not as hard as you as you think. So just kind of practice and you know remember that we're what we're not trying to do. Let me show you really quick. What we're not trying to do is this. Okay, and this is the mistake a lot of new artists make. Okay. We're not trying to do this, and then we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this, okay? We're not drawing it in, and then we're going to, this isn't a coloring book, all right? So we're not making it perfect like that. That's not how an eye is supposed to look. So approach it, you know, the way I just showed you. What you want to do, start with your top, um, top part of your eye. Now, depending on your person, first start off with something simple, but depending on the person that you're painting, if it's uh, somebody of a, you know, a different race, uh, it could be an Asian, it could be Hispanic, their eye shapes are different than what my eye shape would be. So everybody has a different, um, well, a different shape of their eyes. Some people have rounder eyes. Some people have um, thinner eyes with more lid. So those are things to take in consideration. But when you're just doing something like this. That's it. Pretty simple. Thanks guys.